would seem strange to have the night sky without the moon. But where did the moon come from? This issue aroused the curiosity of scientists and philosophers over the years. That's why multiple theories on how the moon was formed have been debated for centuries. Here we're gonna discuss the most famous theories about the formation of the moon. The first theory, the moon capture theory. Some researchers suggest that the moon may have originally formed elsewhere, perhaps even around another planet such as Venus, before being grabbed by the Earth's gravitational force. And that's not strange, because other worlds have gained moons in this manner. However, this theory has some major problems, the most serious of which is the geochemical similarity of the Earth and moon. The two bodies have nearly identical oxygen isotope ratios, suggesting that they are formed from the same raw material. The second theory, the fission theory. It was proposed by George Darwin in the 19th century. He stated that the material that formed the moon was ejected into space by a molten, fast-spinning Earth in the very early days of the solar system. But sadly, most scientists discount the fission hypothesis, saying that the Earth couldn't have been spinning fast enough to expel a moon-sized piece of rock. The third theory. The co-formation theory. It explains the possibility that the moon formed alongside the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, coalescing from gas and dust in the same part of our solar system's protoplanetary disk. While this hypothesis can account for the isotopic similarities between the Earth and the moon, it falls short in other ways. It cannot explain the high angular momentum of the Earth's moon system, for example or why the moon has such a small iron core compared to that of our planet. The fourth theory, the colliding planetesimal theory. Some scientists have suggested that the moon condensed from the debris produced by planetesimals, the building blocks that grew into Mars, Earth, and other full-fledged planets, slammed into each other shortly after the solar system formed. But sadly, Little evidence supports this theory, which also cannot explain the geochemical similarities between the Earth and its natural satellite, which is the Moon. The fifth theory, the Giant Impact Theory. It expects that around 4.4 billion years ago, there was a huge planet that was like Mars in size, slammed into the newly formed Earth. The result of this collision was molten rocks, came out into space and coalesced together, forming the moon. The theory is the most accepted theory we hold for the formation of the moon. The astronauts contributed to prove the theory right when they brought rocks from the moon to be examined by scientists. The scientists used radioactive devices to age the rocks, and they found out that the moon is millions of years younger than the Earth. They also found that the rocks from the moon had the same chemistry as the ones of the Earth, and they are unlike the rocks that the scientists got from the solar system. That's why the giant impact hypothesis does the best job of explaining the formation of the moon and its approved among scientists. Created using Powtoon.